My PPC is not performing well, but what should I change? Today, I'm going to share with you a way to figure out exactly what is impacting your PPC campaigns. You might see that your ACOS has gone up, but what is specifically causing that? Is it click through rate, conversion rate? Not only that, which products? are impacting that conversion rate or click through rate or cost per click. And if you're new here, a big welcome. My name's Dan Rogers and I aim to turn the complex into simple, sharing online business strategies with you. So don't forget to subscribe. And today we're going to be talking about the Salix Benchmarker. Now it is totally free to sign up for this benchmark and I recommend you do that. Link in the description below. Also, what we're going to cover today does require two months of data. So it's worth signing up today so that it can begin processing. And once you've done that, you can see you're going to gain a score of how well your campaigns are performing. You can also look at benchmarks. This is going to compare your performance to the category benchmark or the average seller within your niche. Today, though, we are going to look at month over month changes and how you can analyze exactly what's impacting your campaigns. Scrolling down, you can see our current ACOS and the change from last month, 19% higher, which is not good. We always want the lowest ACOS possible. But then we can actually see where this is coming from in terms of our ad spend and how many sales we're generating from that spend. Impressions, so how many times were our ads actually seen? And is that up or down? Click through rate. Once they were seen, how often were they clicked on? And the number of clicks, as well as the cost per click for these ads. Number of clicks times cost per click gives us our ad spend. And once they did click through to the listing and they're on the listing, how many of them actually purchased? That's our conversion rate. And you can see it here. And if it's up or down from last month, that relates to orders if they check out and buy our product. And then the average order value times orders is going to give us our ad sales in total. Then of course our ad spend divided by ad sales times 100 gives us our ACOS. And so you can see how each of these actually impact our eventual ACOS. And we can look into which one is causing the increase in this case most. And so just by looking at this, you can definitely see that it's our cost per click probably impacting this most. That's up almost 20% from last month. And so all of this and a lot more further down in this report is completely free. Today though, I do want to touch on another aspect and that is looking at, okay, our cost per click is up 18.5%, but which specific products are causing that most? Or we could do the same for click-through rate, but which individual products are impacting that most? And so we're going to be looking at the impact driver analysis. Now, currently this impact driver analysis is a premium feature. So you do need to be a part of one of Salix paid plans, but there is talk of this being made available to everyone. But do remember, you need two months of data. So sign up now so it begins processing. You can do that with the link below. And then by the time this is available, or if you do choose to go to a paid plan, you're going to have data available so that you can use this as follows. If we click on this little search box, you can see we have our main KPIs being ACOS and ad sales. Then we have our performance down here and we have volume and these metrics here. Now each of these is actually color coded. So our main KPIs, these are in dark blue above here. Our performance, these are the white circles as we see here. And volume is going to be these gray boxes here. And so in this way from your snapshot, you can actually dig deeper into any of these three columns as per these three structures shown here. But if we look at ACOS, first of all, so we're up 19.1% on ACOS. Now you have three ways of viewing each metric selected here. If we look at the tree map, one of my favorites, red, the total negative impact on the account, green, the total positive impact on the account. But then you can see that the negative or positive area can actually be divided between the products impacting that the most. So the ones negatively impacting ACOS the most are these two. And we can see the relative impact this one 57% and this one 43%. And if we move across to the table view of the same data, we can actually see on losers down here, you can switch between losers and gainers. You can see here that the ACOS for each of these products is this, this month. We can see the change from last month. Importantly, we see the impact on the account overall. Now the impact is often going to be higher 
if your ad spend on this specific product is higher. And so already what we know is we need to look much more closely at this specific product because it's impacting us the most in terms of ACoS. We also need to look closely at this product because they're resulting in the most negative impact on our ACoS going up. Then there's also a waterfall version of viewing this. We can see the account performance overall. So we're 19% up as per the Y axis. We're 19% up overall in blue. And we can look at each individual product here as well. Now, one thing that's important to note, you can see here, the ACoS for the product change from last month. But then we can also see in brackets here, a weighted score or a weighted percentage. And what this is saying is that how much of your ad spend overall do you spend on this specific product? Now, if you don't spend as much on this product as other ones, then the relative percentage will be lower as we see here. So even though this product's ACOS has gone up 66%, if we look at it alone, how much is it impacting our ACOS on an account wide basis based on how much we spend on it? We can see it's increasing that by 14.3% overall in terms of our overall ACOS. And you can see that that does make sense because if we come back to table, you can see we spend 35,000 in ad spend on that product, but on others, we spend much, much more. And so that's how you can get this weighted score of how much it's impacting the account overall. On this product, for example, the change is lesser, but we spend a lot more on that. So if we take a look at that one, we can see it's up 19%, but it actually still impacts the account massively at plus 10%. And that's of course, because it's weighted month over month by ad spend we spend more on it. So even a small change there is gonna impact the account massively. And so overall here, if you're trying to optimize overall account-wide ACOS, the one in the brackets is actually more important. And then if we open the toggle again, our other main KPI was ad sales. So we can see in the top graph, ad sales were down 6.7%. So now we can come to this box, choose that metric, and then we can look into what is happening here, starting with the tree map. And if we look at this, every product is actually down. You can see it's all red and divided here. This product specifically is 87% of the negative impact. So it's the main problem. And then these two at lower percentages here, making up 100 of the red negative area. If we look at the table, we can see that ad sales for this product are down 70% from last month. And then the much smaller decrease on these two. So you would really wanna focus in on this product. Why are the ad sales so much lower there? Are our ads not populating? Are we perhaps out of stock on the product? Something like that. But this is how you can narrow down to the product which is actually causing that issue the most. But let's move on here to more exciting stuff like our click-through rate, our performance metrics here. So click-through rate, we're actually down 6%, which is quite significant. So again, we come to this little toggle, under performance click-through rate. In our tree map, we can see one product is responsible for the positive change has gone up and three products for the negative change, as we can see here with their impact and in the table, the same data. So in terms of our losers, and you can switch between gainers and losers at the bottom, in terms of the losers, these top two are the most important, each contributing 40, 50% to the negative impact on the account. So we definitely wanna look into why the click-through rate is lower here. Has our coupon clipping stopped working? Can we optimize the main image? Did we raise the price drastically? If it's a brand new product, did we get a really negative review pulling down that overall rating? Something's happening with these, and this is how you can quickly see, okay, which one is impacting this, and how can I work on that? not just changing keywords in your campaigns, but actually changing your listings. So you're optimizing PPC with a more bird's eye view here. But I think the massive value in this is that you're not only seeing, okay, my ACOS is up 19%. You're able to also look at what's causing that, like click-through rate being down 6%. Not only that, but which specific products are responsible most in terms of impact for that negative 6%. 
and then you go and adapt these specific products. Okay, so we've worked out exactly how to improve that click-through rate so that our next month over month, we have a green arrow here. Next, let's look at cost per click. This is up 18.5%. So we definitely need to evaluate which products are causing this. Again, from our toggle, we just choose CPC. And on our tree map, we see one product positive, two contributing to negative. And in the table, we can see 72% of the negative impact here is from this product. So we're really going to have to look at this one and also this one, almost 30% of the negative impact. And why is that cost per click higher? Than last month are we running a new campaign maybe a product targeting campaign that's just not working very well maybe we need to target more niche keywords or if we're further along if we're organically ranking maybe we can come off bidding so much on some of these keywords and then you can click across to your gainers and also see the change here so we've worked out which ones are contributing to the higher cost per click and then let's look at conversion rate here conversion rate is up four percent which is good but if we open our toggle conversion conversion rate. And here on our table, we can see the actual conversion rate. These are very good conversion rates, eight, nine percent. That means eight or nine people out of 100 who are on the listing actually buy. And so we can see these are increasing. This one has a massive positive impact. So here, what I would be doing is looking at why have we added a video to the listing? Did we fill out A plus content? Are we running coupon clippings? Did we lower the price? Something is increasing the conversion rate here and we would want to replicate that across other ASINs as well. And on the losers, we didn't have much change here. So this was mainly a positive one, but you also want to look at how you can replicate the good stuff. And then average order value. Now this one, it's not going to be as insightful as the others for most, unless you are actually doing subscribe and save or have repeat purchase products. But here we can see these two are down in terms of average order value. So you might want to look at that. But again, more important for those of you doing repeat purchase. And so now we have actually cleared the performance metrics and how to look at those. If we look at volume, so these are our gray boxes here. Impressions, that's very similar to last month. So I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Clicks, minus 6%, minus 6.2 on our clicks. So let's take a look at this one. You're going to come here, click clicks. And if we open up the tree map here, we can see our three products contributing to the red or negative area. Remember, those will all add up to 100% and one product in the positive and contributing fully to the positive change. And on our table, we can again on the losers tab, we can see three products are impacting this and the relative impact of them. So these top two are the most impactful, especially this top one. And we would really want to look at why are we getting much less clicks on that specific product? Again, this one we did cover in click through rate. So we would do those same changes here. But clicks can also be slightly different to click through rate because click through rate tells you of how many people who saw the listing or the ad, how many clicked. In terms of clicks, we're looking at just overall how many clicks were there on this listing or on this ad. So they are slightly different and a huge decrease in clicks could indicate that a listing is being suppressed, for example. But here's how you can identify those. And then we do have a gainer. So this one up 31.5%. And again, we'd want to look at why are we getting so many more clicks on this listing? And then if we look at orders, so orders are just slightly down, but let's have a look at what this one looks like. So we have a fully red area. And again, it's predominantly because of this one product. So it's likely an out of stock issue. Nonetheless, this is going to warn you of that problem. Then we can see in table format, 95% of the negative impact on orders is from this product. So it's likely a stocking issue or a suppression issue or some other listing restriction issue that would be causing such a massive decrease here. And then let's look at ad spend because this is up 11.1%. This is a very important one as well. So again, we open this and under volume ad spend and on our tree map, we have two contributing positively to the ad spend. That is we're spending less and one negative, we're spending more. And so if we click across to our table view here, you can see this product in the losers tab is responsible for an increase in our ad spend. 
It might be just because we're running a new campaign for it. It might even be a new product or it might be we've begun bidding more to increase the organic ranking of the product, which could all be absolutely fine. But then on our gainers, we can see, again, these are ones reducing our ad spend. They're good. Green is good. So here we can see the impact of these, both similar impact, and this is very good. And that might be because we're slowing down on the bids because we have organic ranking, etc. But this is how you can view this also in waterfall form where it's going to tell you the relative impact of that increase or decrease. And so we can see here, if we look at the product alone, the ad spend for it has gone up 55%. And if we look here, the ad spend for this product alone has come down 55%. Okay, both seem similar in terms of ratio, but we can see the number in brackets shows us our overall difference on our account. So we're obviously spending much more on this product than this one. And so that is exactly how you can work from the ACOS change to what is impacting the ACOS change and then which products are impacting the metrics impacting the ACOS change. For example, which ones are impacting click-through rate negatively and how can we change the front of listing aspects to improve that or which ones have the higher cost per click impacting the account and how can we adapt that do we have a campaign that we need to stop that we began running also conversion rate which ones are performing well in this case and how can we replicate that with the on listing aspects because that's when we convert buyers or average order value if you do do repeat purchases and all of these other blocks here. But I think the power of this is that you're looking at your business overall and changing not only keywords and bids, but also the listings themselves, which are of course impacting your campaigns. But the massive value in this is that each month you can do this and always continue to work towards green arrows within these circles or boxes here, which are going to always positively impact that ACOS. And so this is the new section that they've added to the Selex Benchmarker. And although this is currently a premium feature, if you do sign up using the link below, this is totally free and you do get this full performance funnel over here, as well as other sections below, such as this one here, where you can then look at each individual product against your category average and how you can adjust that. You also can look at your account overall compared to your category, also your ad distribution, and then you can look at your score overall, sponsored products being normal PPC, sponsored brands if you're brand registered, and sponsored display is also coming very, very soon. Now, if you do wanna learn everything about sponsored brands and sponsored display, Wait for this video, it's going to come up in the end screen in a moment. And below this video, in the description, I'm also going to link another video we did on the Salix Benchmarker, which covers the product analysis area, as you can see here. So again, you can use that totally for free just by signing up for the Salix Benchmarker below. But I hope this helps you actually target and narrow down to what is actually causing the issues with your PPC campaigns. I've been getting a lot of questions on the channel lately on can't you do more advanced PPC stuff and really I think this fits the bill. Definitely sign up below. I do hope this helps you just clear up those issues. If you did enjoy this, please drop it a quick like for me. Remember to subscribe if you want to stay ahead of your competition, but I wish you many sales and a very low ACOS. I'll catch you in the next video.